I'm just getting to know this card, this ADSR low pass gate from Portobello Labs, and I'm really enjoying it. I'd like to give you a quick overview. Um, I think I've got a handle on it, so let's give it a whirl. The upper left is attack, decay, sustain, release. Uh, eight, your normal ADSR, what's really cool is you have CV control over all of those stages. You have a pulse in for, for an external pulse. When this is in the center position and this to the left, it's looking for an internal pulse and you can set the pulse length. Um, this is handy, especially if there's different voltages coming in here, so you can dial that in. Otherwise, if you set this switch to the left, it reads this easel sequencer to the right, the pulser. If you flip this switch to the right, it will self-cycle the ADSR. I find this is amazingly handy for creating all sorts of interesting shaped um, CVs or envelopes, if you will. Uh, here is um, pulse delay uh, that you can dial in manually or have CV control over. Um, this is the output of the ADSR, and this is the inverted output of the ADSR. This switch will send either that to the low pass gate or that, or come on over here. This is an input for an external envelope, if you'd like. With this in the center position, it's looking for an external envelope. Otherwise, it will read the easels envelope generator or the pulser. Here, oh, and this is like the this would be like your attenuator slider, the left-hand slider on an easel, and this is your offset. Uh, signal in, so for any signal, external signal in, and you have uh, pads here, low, medium, and high, to dial in the strength of that. And you can invert, you, you can invert the phase. Uh, this CV is going to mode select, uh, like on all Buchlas, we have VCA, Combo, and Low Pass Gate. Uh, you can dial in sequencing through those different modes if you like. Uh, channel C, signal output blends the Low Pass Gate with whatever's coming in here. Um, you know, if you had like a VCS3 card coming into the Low Pass Gate, and if you had your easel output into here, it would blend both of those, so you would have a three-voice synth. So this is pretty handy. I look forward to uh, exploring and sharing that with you more.